We usually consider internet growth to be a good thing, and it is. We want to bring the entire world's population or large, large, a large percentage of it online. But the growth of the internet has also challenged certain core parts of the internet infrastructure, routing being one of them. And that led to a famous day, the day that the internet got too big. Um, this is also known as 512K day. So what was 512K day? So remember that the core internet routers are sitting there making this very simple decision over and over again. Packet arrives, should I send it out on link one or link two? That's all they do. However, in order to do this at really, really high speeds, they use these special hardware uh, components. And one of the core Cisco routers that was deployed in many parts of the internet used a piece of hardware that limited the number of IPv4 routes that it could uh, serve quickly to 512K. That turns out to be half of a megabyte. Half of its entries were, rever were reserved for an upgrade to IPv4 called IPv6. So the maximum number of IPv4 addresses it could route quickly using this special piece of hardware that makes routing really, really fast was 512K. So here's the problem. As the internet has been growing, and as we've been doing things to try to alleviate the, um, the exhaustion of the IPv4 address space, we've been dividing networks that were frequently, uh, that were big into smaller networks, that's produced more prefixes uh, that routers have to handle. So this is a fascinating chart that to some degree reflects something about the growth of the internet, but what really this is showing you is the number of prefixes that routers have to handle. So look at this, back in 1991, uh, the number is like almost zero. Um, and then we see this growth that is kind of alarmingly, almost looks somewhat exponential. So by, 20, by 2009, routers had to route about 300,000 300, prefixes. So each one of these prefixes identifies an autonomous system and tells the router how to make this particular decision. It identifies a part of the IP address that the router uses to decide link one or link two, just over and over and over again. Now remember, routers uh, have this, had this limitation that they could only route quickly 512 thousand prefixes and look what happened right around August of 2014 we hit this number and what happened is that a bunch of routers and, and it's actually ended up people have been anticipating this but this ended up happening sooner than people thought and it turned out that a particular ISP suddenly took one of their networks and divided it into smaller pieces and so suddenly they announced a bunch of new prefixes um, and all the routers on the internet had to support these prefixes and it suddenly pushed a bunch of them over 512k so what happened when that happened well at that point the router could no longer fit its routing table into this special piece of really, really high speed um, hardware that it uses to make routing decisions. And instead, it started to make routing decisions much, much, much more slowly. The routers didn't necessarily fail, they just got a lot slower suddenly. And what happened is that that slowness uh, actually ended up killing off a bunch of services. So there were um, reports of outages on this particular day. Um, it was uh, 8 12 14 August 12th 2014 is 5 to 512k day as they called it um, and there were reports of various parts of the internet that went down uh, because of this problem and they went down not again not because the routers weren't working but because you took routers that you know previously could make a billion routing decisions per second or something like that and suddenly they were only making a million or maybe a hundred thousand so they got a lot slower and that slowness affected everything else now the fix for this turned out to be pretty simple, um, but the fix for the growth in the number of IP address prefixes that routers have to handle is not necessarily that simple because there are really fundamental hardware limitations that these routers face. Um, so there was a, a configuration change that you could use to basically instruct the router to use more space for the IPv4 space and less for IPv6, um, but this growth has continued. Right? So this is an interesting example of how one of these fundamental parts of the internet, these, these routing decisions that have to get made really, really quickly, if those slow down a little bit, the large parts of the internet can be affected.